What is up guys and gals, Billy here. Today what I'm going to show you is something we can do with the um, game mode 3, otherwise known as the spectator mode in Minecraft that will be added in 1.8. So today I am in 14W06A, um, however this game mode was added in 065 I believe. Um, but basically, we can actually detect a player that is in that game mode by using the command m equals 3. So tp at p m equals 3 who's in the radius of 10, one block in the x direction. And then this is all the directions inside. Now what what is this useful for? Well some people don't really like to show their redstone. Some people don't want to give away secrets or allow people to see the inside of another team's base maybe. Uh, because game mode 3 or spectator mode is going to be very useful for PvP. And if there's one team and they're all in a group chat and they are in spectator mode, they're like, oh, they're they're getting armor. They're, you know, it, it's not supposed to be possible for them to actually go inside that base and see what's going on and give hints to the other team. So what I came up with, or it's not really an invention, it's super easy, is let me go ahead and get in game mode 3. Basically, that little square, or I guess set of cubes or in command blocks over there, prevents me from getting anywhere close to them as long as I am in game mode 3. That means any direction I try to go, it pushes me back. Can go this way, pushes me back. I can, I can even try to go on top, pushes me up, and I can try going underneath let's see if it'll let me go underneath nope it's pushing me down <laughs> so you can't do anything basically you can't get in there you can't give away any secrets Whoa, where am I where am I where am I there we go <laughs> you can't give away any secrets you can't sneak into that specified area as long as you are in game mode 3 so even if you want to use spectator mode you don't have to worry about this so Oops. Game mode 1. Did I spell that wrong? Slash game mode 1. Okay. Um, so let me show you what I'm doing here. Basically, I have a clock. This is a clock that is setting a redstone block into this position and an air block into this position constantly. So if I press this, you will see that it, it disappears. Let me actually get a redstone block and when I put it in it starts working so if I let's say have a command block that says hi you will see that this spams the chat with hi and then when you press that you can see it stops press it again and it goes like mad and try and break it but you won't be able to get through it um, this works pretty good um, however just so you guys know you do have to have the redstone block going at negative 1 on either X or Z and the air must be going positive 1 or on X or Z because otherwise it just doesn't work for some reason. Um, now if we head over here, I actually still need that, you can see an example of it. So we have set block minus 1 in this position and uh, set block air in this position. So that is working as we speak right now and then if you oh, if you click hard enough you can reach past sometimes but uh, not fast enough to matter really um, and then again if you just need to stop it you can either place a button here or place a button there and then press it either one will stop it I think this one actually stops it I'm not sure yeah it stopped it so let's say we press it we know that it's going and then we hit the button and it's not going anymore. So yeah, cool little clock. Now this will also work um, to teleport the player within a radius or that's trying to leave a radius. So let's say slash TP at P whose M equals three and comma radius minimum equals 10 and then it will set them let's say 
Uh, let's figure out what these chords are really quick. This is, whoa, losing my keys here. This is negative two, nine, three, five, eight, eight, three, six. So negative nine, did I say two, nine, three? Oh, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> nine, two, four, five, eight, three, six. Okay. So it will teleport any player that is in game mode three and is trying to leave the area back to this position because you're not allowed to leave this area if you are in game mode three. And I have caps lock on slash game mode three. There we go. So if I try to leave the area, it teleports me right back into there. If I go up, it teleports me right back. If I go down, it teleports me any direction. It will always teleport me back here because I'm not allowed to leave. All right. So I hope this helps you guys. And I know that this will be very useful for map makers who don't necessarily want to allow people to do certain things when they are in game mode three, even though technically you can clip through any block, you can right click and chest to see what's inside. If you don't want that, just add this little machine inside it and you are good. Now, I almost forgot to mention what these command blocks are doing. These are doing the exact same thing. However, they are placing the redstone and the air block inside this little cubby hole. So let me just go ahead and break this. And you can see that there's a redstone block right in there. And it is doing the same thing. Let me get rid of that. It is doing the same thing. So if we break this, it is placed instantly. And that is how all of these blocks are being powered and teleporting you and constantly doing it. So if I actually do slash game mode three right now, you will see that it pushes me instantly. It's it's very quick and it's back to back. Um, and then all you need to do is just surround it with command blocks saying with the radius of 10 or however much the radius needs to be, place that in the center of your of your safe zone or the area you don't want your uh, spectators to go to and it's all set so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you if you're new to the channel and let me know what you guys think about this all right so see you guys next time peace out